Someone has rightly said, food is the only beautiful thing that nourishes. Students, we all know how important food is in our daily life. It gives us energy to do work, to play around, to do our studies. Today, in our session, we are going to learn just that. So, as I said, we will be learning about the lesson food and digestion which is chapter number 1 of class 4 living science textbook in particularly we will be studying about nutrients in food and how do nutrients uh, help us what do nutrients do for us okay so let us begin first our aim our aim is to know various nutrients present in food and to know their functions to understand how digestion takes place in human body, to learn and practice proper food habits, to appreciate the need to cook food and to preserve it. So this is our aim. All living things need food. We all know this. Food helps us to grow and to stay alive. It gives us energy to work and keep us fit and healthy. We eat wheat rice, vegetables, fruits and pulses. Some of us also eat meat, fish and eggs. So non-vegetarians as we all know, they can eat fish, eggs, meat from which we get lot of proteins. Food contains a substance called nutrients which provides nourishment to the body. So nutrients is that substance which provides nourishment to the body. Food contains nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and minerals. Food also contains roughage and water. Okay, So these are the things that are necessary for our body, for a proper digestion and whatever food that we have, we must make sure that all these nutrients are present in the food. So this is a typical Indian dish where we have rotis, dal, sabji and rice, curd, some sweet dish. So this makes sure that we get all the nutrients. So what do nutrients do for us? Well, nutrients like carbohydrate gives us energy to do work. People who do more physical work need more carbohydrates. Sugar and starch are two types of carbohydrates. Rice, wheat and potato contain starch. Fat gives us more energy than starch or sugar. Okay, so sugar and starch are a type of carbohydrate. For example, rice, wheat and potato contain starch which is a type of carbohydrate. Then there is another nutrient called as fat which gives us more energy compared to starch or sugar. Oil, nut, butter contain fat. Fat helps us to keep our body warm. Extra fat is stored in the body for future use. So we should be very cautious while having fats because too much of fats can make you fat. You should always remember that. So we should not eat too much of uh, food especially containing fats. Okay, otherwise this is what is going to happen. Well, food that are rich in carbohydrate and fats are called as energy giving foods. Protein helps us to grow. This is why children need more proteins. Egg, fish, meat, cheese, peas and pulses contain proteins. Food that are rich in proteins are called as bodybuilding foods. Then comes vitamins. Vitamin is a nutrient which helps us to fight diseases. It is required in very small quantity, but still we must regularly have foods which contain vitamins. Types of vitamins are A, B, C, D, E and K. So these are the different kinds of vitamins. Then comes minerals. Minerals as we know, it helps in the formation of bones, teeth and blood. Example, calcium, potassium, sodium, iodine, iron. These are the various kind of minerals that are needed by our body to a certain extent. So what are the sources of vitamins and minerals? Well, fresh fruits, vegetables, 
milk and dairy foods meat seafood liver all these are the sources of vitamins and minerals we must note that food rich in minerals and vitamin keeps us fit and healthy minerals and vitamins so are called as protective foods okay students so now some questions for you that you can try out at home first question is why do we need food i repeat why do we need food second question what is the function of nutrients list different food items that you have in your daily diet then fourth question is what does carbohydrates do for us then name the food items that contain fats what are the sources of vitamins and minerals why are vitamins and minerals called protective foods and last but not the least how do minerals helps us so students please try out this questions at home it will be a good exercise for you if you have any doubts then please put your queries in comment box okay students so that was all from my side stay home stay safe and keep learning thanks for attending this session see you in next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye